All right, so walking up to that mountain I climbed yesterday, and now I'm going to do a video of climbing up it because I just ate a huge, uh, I just ate a huge steak and eggs, and uh, yeah, I'm so stuffed right now. I gotta. I gotta hike up this thing again. So I was thinking I'd do a video of me hiking up it. I mean, it's not that long of a hike, maybe 20, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Oh my God, I'm stuffed again. Whew. I think they're trying, there's like a dude up there and he's got, he's like watering. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Yeah, you can't really see him, but he's got like, I think they're like trying to make a museum up there or something. At least that's what the kid was saying that works at the restaurant I go to. And I asked him like, there's a dude up there water and he's got trees and it's kind of nice up there. He always ride, rides his quad up there. Get in better shape if you walk. I guess he does have like a little water thing. Um, I think he brings water up there. I'm not sure, but he had like a little 20 gallon water thing on the front of his quad. Yeah, but from down here, it looks really steep. I mean, that face of that mountain is steep. Like, if you fall off, you're falling. And maybe not stop until you roll all the way down. <sighs> yeah, one of these times, I gotta bring my dirt bike with me. Although, I'm not sure if it's running or not. I did some work on it yesterday and when I went to start it I couldn't get it started and it was so hot in the garage and I basically just gave up it'll start it'll start I hope it starts I don't want to take it to the shop last time I took it to the shop it was a thousand bucks it's almost buy another used one or this give up dirt biking all together, which I don't know if I can do because I fell in love with dirt biking again this last ride. <sighs> Gotta watch out for snakes, I think. I don't know if they have rattlers here or not. I bet they do. So full right now, oh my god. Oh. Gets a little steep. I mean, this would be a hard one, kind of hard on a mountain bike, maybe. Shit's really loose. and rocky and sharp jagged gnarly rocks I'm in my sandals my sandals will socks you know uh oh here comes quad dude <laughs> yeah, I just I just ate a huge steak, so yeah, I uh I'll get up to those. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, yeah, this is like my, I stay, I stay there because I'm a truck driver and, uh, um, I'm making a YouTube video, so, but I won't put you in it. Okay, I'm gonna lie. It, anyway, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm like, screw it, like, I'm gonna hike up there, like, my, I got nothing better to do, I gotta wait here for 10 hours or whatever. It's like, I just ate a huge meal and it's like... It's time to eat. It's time to time to eat. Time to hike. Time to yeah. Yeah. Hey, so are you guys putting like a museum or something up there? Yeah, it'll be down here. Oh oh. Be down in here somewhere. Right here. Right here. Somewhere right alongside here, there's gonna be an amphitheater. Like, like the the one that's down that way. No, not, not the concert hall. This will just be like a little amphitheater outside huh. thing. They'll have like Queensryche and Motley Crue come and play. <laughs> I know the like the last time I saw an ad for a band at the um at your concert hall it was Queensryche. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm all Queens Rikes playing in Windover. I like text my buddy that lives in Florida. I'm like, dude, Queens Rikes playing in Windover. He's like, where the fuck's Windover? I'm like, it's on the way to Salt Lake City, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, they had Skid Row. Ted Nugent shows up every year. Yeah, this place. This place is very cool. Like, I need to bring my dirt bike with me. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mild. I know. <laughs> I live in Re I, I live in Reno, so I go to Salt Lake and then back to Reno. And um, I mean, this is just like Reno. Like the man. I wonder if there's trails all up in there. there. Damn. Yeah. I mean, some of these trails that go up, like behind the cemetery there, you know, a lot of them just kind of dead off. But there's one that go around this is needle point here uh-huh you go around that side and where it ends and if you walk up like, from here to the set that little sagebrush away there's a cave you go into the cave and then you have to kind of you have to crawl and then it just Th there's up. so hold on there's a cave up in there yeah it, that's not the danger cave though the danger no, cave danger yeah they call it lime, lime caves, lime crystal cave or whatever. As you go in there, and it, it's all it's all white. <laughs> really? So yeah. But it, but you have to crawl a little ways. Yeah, you have to crawl about. I don't know. And you, they feet. don't have it blocked off. No. Damn. And then it just opens up into this big ass cave. Man. Yeah. I'd like to check that out. How far do you think it is from here? From here? Yeah. Three miles. Three miles? Maybe. And it's called the Limey Cave? Yeah. Or, uh, crystal, crystal. Crystal Cave? cave. Yeah. Are there crystals in there? Well, it, it just kind of looks like crystal. Uh, all, all it is is just the water's been sitting in there for so long and it just got... It looks like a... It, it almost looks like a, a white soccer ball. Cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, you know, so, that is pretty cool. But then, you know, you get up to the cemetery, and, of course, there's there's a road that goes out. And then there's, you know, all the military stuff. You, you can see where, you know, now, they had bombing and stored water. Now, up on the sign that was up there, I read that there's a... I want to say they said over that mountain range, there's like a, a, a railway that they practice shooting machine guns yeah. and a Jeep that would run on a, like, like on a train yeah. track or something. Yeah. And that's actually where, what I was just telling you when you get up and you just go right past the cemetery, follow the road and you know, there'll, there'll be forts. You just kind of stay on the main road and it'll take you over and then you're looking at the valley and you, you can see, yeah, you, you can see. Yeah, cool. all that shit. The rail's not there anymore. So someone probably scavenged the steel or something. <laughs> we gotta make more bullets. <laughs> Especially for World War Two, like. <sighs> but 
certain time of the year they have a person come out from the University of Utah to do a tour in Danger Cave. I see people sometimes over there, and I've seen groups of people. I mean, dude, I've been driving to Salt Lake twice a week now for almost three years. So I'm always looking over there because I I would see people, and then it, till the other day when I read, I'm like, oh, it's a cave. That's what they're doing. And then well, it's, it's, it's a pretty significant cage. It's the first time they figured out when uh, humans started domesticating dogs. Really? Yeah. The danger cave is like where they yeah, figured out their yeah, where pre pre prehistoric yeah. and dogs and people became friends. Yeah. Dude, that's so cool. Yeah, and then, of course, the water comes clear up to to the, the side of the mountain. I mean, it wasn't 300 years ago, anyway. And then when when the that plant out there started using the water it, it drained i should bring dirt bike would be more difficult mountain bike would be easier and if it's only three miles I, man i gotta check that out yeah but like i don't <laughs> the uh i would have to load the dirt bike in i don't know if that would work Throw it on your bumper it well that's that's the truck down there that I drive and it does have a lift gate. There you go. I would love to bring my dirt bike here and spend an afternoon riding around. Bring it out, park it in my garage for a week. <laughs> yeah, right. And then you know, <laughs> when we do it. I I uh wanted to do that. The only problem is I've been riding on Sundays with my friends up in Truckee, and uh, then I w it would be here. Well, yeah, you get on the other side of these mountains. What I need to do is find another dirt bike that's for sale and drop it off in your garage, and then I have it. <laughs> you get on the other side, you could go, you could go clear Twin Falls. <laughs> really. I mean, that's what, 200, 300 miles from here? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Highway. As highway. The, as the crow flies, it's probably close to 200 miles. Because you, you've heard of Montello. I've heard it. I've yeah. never been there. It, I, it, it's, it's a small, small little community. You, you blink, you go buy it. But, you know, it's out there. And you could hook up onto 93 right there. Yeah, I was staying in Wells a whole bunch of times. And and then all the restaurants closed down. Yeah. And then I, like, tried to eat McDonald's. and Bella's is open. Oh, oh my God. It's expensive. Oh. Luther's might be open, too. But yeah, open. every time I call, no one ever answers. So... Yeah, they, they just opened. My girlfriend's daughter actually moved over there and is, and is bartending at Luther's. Heather? No, Laramie. Laramie? Yeah, she's just... Here, I'm going to stop this. Out two weeks. 